Hello, beautiful souls. I want to start off by saying if you hear noise in the background, it's because they're doing some kind of construction outside. And I'm going to guess that because that's what it sounds like to me. I haven't checked because right before I was going to record, the noise started to happen. Go figure, right? And this video is intended for 18 and over. So if you're not 18 and over, please do not watch the video. Today we're going to learn how to laminate on one side of your cutout sheets or ephemera sheets. I came up with this idea because sometimes I like the look of having some of my ephemera pieces look like they've been um, sealed with some kind of varnish or glossy accents. So this is this this gives it the effect like it has glossy accents on it as you can see here. It is very shiny. Okay, so it looks like it has glossy accents. And I like the look of that on some of my projects. So I came up with this idea to laminate on one side. As you can see here, there is no shine here because there's no lamination there. Um, it's real simple and easy. Really simple. And I've done quite a bit over here as well. So you can see all that shine there, okay? So you're going to need two of your ephemera sheets or cutout sheets. Or, you know, this it doesn't have to necessarily be a digital download. It could be from a paper pad. Um, but, you know, there are a lot of people that like digitals. So I'm including, you know that as well but it could be from a paper pad as well where they have a cutout sheet okay so you're gonna need two of the ones that you want to laminate and I am using a five mil laminating sheet I have a laminate on the right side of me ready to go and you're gonna take one and put it upside down and you want to print them out you want to be able to do this on a full sheet. You can also do it if you already have pieces that you cut out. Um, that one is just a more tedious process, but I, I will show you that one too. Okay, and then you're going to take this one facing up, lining them up. So as you can see here, we have this side and we have this side. And even though it's going to seal on the edges, you're still going to have laminated sheet just just on one side of your paper. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the laminator and I'm going to run it through twice because it is kind of thick now because I am using cardstock. If you're using regular copy paper, um, I think I still would run it in twice just to make sure that it's sealed. Okay, so here it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. And even though it's sealed, remember there was no seal in between the <clears throat> the the two sheets. So all you want to do is cut off all those edges, and you'll be able to pry um, pull it pull it apart. You can do this with a scissors too. I'm just doing it like this because it's quicker. See, it's already coming apart. have where only one side is laminated but not this side so you can glue it on your projects you glue from paper to paper it is much easier and you don't have to worry about using you know some kind of adhesive that is for non-porous surfaces and then all you got to do is cut them out and fussy cut them out and look at all that shine another way that we seal our cutout pieces is with Mod Podge the thing with that is that is not as sturdy as this with the lamination so you would still need to glue this to another piece of cardstock and then re-fussy cut it out so you'll be doing double the work so this is much 
quicker and it's much much shinier and the reason why I like to seal <clears throat> the ephemera or uh, cutouts is because since this is done with an inject printer if something spills on this it's, the ink is just going to spread it's going to look like a, like a tie-dye mixture there it's going to look like a watercolor effect that you put so many watercolors there and it created a tie-dye effect so that's another reason why I like to seal um, the cutout or ephemera especially the ones that I print out it that's not going to happen when you use the paper pad like you know if something spills on it it's still going to get a little bit you know like warped or messed up but <clears throat> that is one of the main reasons why I like to seal the ephemera or cutouts okay now when we want to when we want to seal or laminate um the pieces that we already cut out <clears throat> that's a different process and that's an extra step we're going to be required to use two pieces of copy paper here i have two pieces of copy paper here as you can see but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay down our pieces that are already cut out so these are this is what i'm going to use so I'm going to put this face down. What I want to do here is I shouldn't have closed this. So don't close that because it will be it's going to stick to this and these are going to shift okay so this is the two pieces of copy paper one two I'm trying to get this in here so nothing is showing on the sides the reason why we got to put two copy paper is because some of the lamination is going to stick to the copy paper and you're not aligning this with the one on the bottom so you must put two copy papers otherwise you're going to have a disaster okay now I'm going to go ahead and lay this one on top So I'm going to go ahead and run this through the laminator. And as a tip, what I should have done is put something flat underneath so that I don't have to shift anything and, and then I can pick it up and just move it to the laminator. Because if you try to shift it, the one on the underside is going to move since it's not in, in one entire sheet like it's not connected like how we did it the first time okay so here it is laminated and it shifted a little bit but that's not bad at all okay so you see how this is not aligned with this and if you would have put one copy but anyway you'll see you, you're going to see exactly what I mean right now Sometimes I have a difficult time explaining things the way that I see it in my head. I'm gonna make sure I'm not cutting anything on the underside, any of the um, printed cutout. Okay, I gotta be careful here because some of it is peeking out there. I'm gonna leave it there. Just gonna cut out the rest manually. It's 
So you see, now you can cut it out. And even though the copy paper is stuck to some of the lamination, when you cut this out, it's going to fall right out. And I'll demonstrate it now so that you can see. falls right out so now you don't have no lamination back there and you can glue this onto your projects and I'm gonna be crocheting around these because I like to crochet around the oval ones and the heart ones so I'll be cutting these out off camera so you saw how the paper falls out so you, I hope you understand now that <clears throat> this would have been stuck like you wouldn't be able to fussy cut this out without destroying this one here if you only had used one copy paper that's why you got to use two copy papers so when you cut around the perimeter they fall they come apart and then you can cut them out with ease without any worries at all okay laminate it on one side but not on the other okay now before I go I also want to share <coughs> another technique <coughs> to sealing your cutouts or your ephemera <coughs> Um, and these images, by the way, which I did enlarge them, they are from, these right here are from the digital collection called Victorian Lace Tea Party. This one is from a collection that I had designed called Doily Dreams. And this is, you know, something that I had um, already. And these are also from Doily Dreams. On Tea Time and Dolls at Tea Shop, in case anybody was wondering, because I know I have, um, you know, I will have new viewers and they're probably going to ask that question. So I wanted to share that. Okay, so this right here is, you know, a page that I already was cutting out, you know, um, some of the images. So here is contact paper and with this as well if you want it to be more sturdy you would have to you know glue it out glue this on another piece of cardstock in order for it to be um, sturdier so even with this is not going to be as sturdy as the lamination or the glossy accents or the um, well, maybe the glassy accents, it depends how many layers you put on it, or the Mod Podge. So this is just the clear contact paper that I get at my local discount store. Okay, so I would just lay it here. And this is actually what I use for those who have been following me. Um for the popsicle stick sentiment this is what I use to seal the top of that okay so as you can see there is a shine there as well it's just not as sturdy as the lamination but you will get pretty much the same effect okay and then you just fussy cut that out or you can glue it on a piece of cardstock first before you actually cut it out so you can just cut it out one time as opposed to cutting it out twice which is double the work so there is the technique that I've been wanting to share with everybody here um, let me know if you try it out if you like it if you know if you don't like it that's fine too um, everybody has their different tastes and preferences um, so let me know in the comment section below if you tried it if you liked it 
if you didn't like it and if you didn't like it tell me why you know it's very interesting to know why other people don't like something that you do okay so with that being said let's share be fair be filled with love and love one another take good care everybody